Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, viewer emailed me asking for my help. Um, this has actually have been a problem since we've actually opened up. It's actually an ongoing problem uh, with a bunch of kids. So these parents come to me bringing me a racket like this and bringing me a couple of them. Uh, most of the time they have two rackets and they break at the same time. Um, they're using like RPM 16 or RPM 17, um, Pro Hurricane, uh, ALU Power, Selenko, and they're like bringing me two of these a week. And they're like, can you do anything about this? I was like, not unless you wanna crazy glue the strings together. Uh, Cause they're breaking strings like fast like potato chips is what I call it. It's just crunch, 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 pow, right? So I, so my question to them is, how long does it take for them to break the strings? And they say, eh, well, they don't know, right? I was like, how many hours of play? How many hours of play? Uh, and they tell me anywhere from two to six hours. Well, my first answer is, you're gonna have to be buying more rackets. Um, and they're saying, well, what's the short-term solution? Oh, well, there isn't one. Uh, let me go to the let me go to the email and let me read you um, this email. So the title is String Breaker, and it's from Neil Crawl. Um, let me see. You have a great YouTube channel. I was hoping you could help me with stringing issue. Wichita State University has new players that is burning through strings. I am an MRT, but can co can co can't come up with an answer other than he is just hitting the hell out of the ball. Yes, he is. The photos show he's breaking almost all the fourth or fifth main. They have tried all big name strings in 1.30 and above. The ultra was used because he broke the pro staffs in an hour and a half. I'm not the stringer. I know there's a there's a ton of variables. Any thoughts? So I'm gonna see if I can show you the photos here that he showed me. So there's three pro staffs and one ultra there. And he's breaking the same string. Okay, so those are obviously 16 by 19s. Um, not the feds because they have the white sides. I mean, that, it's that's a pretty medium dense string pattern already. Um, I mean, my own, like what I do for kids like this, because obviously like this one, they hold it one way. They hold it like this because they're constantly gonna be breaking that. So they never flip it like this, right? So they're always gonna be breaking that fourth or fifth, maybe sixth main like this one. Um, I mean, we can buy a little bit of time with Babolat RPM 15 light, possibly a Cyclone in a 15 light. Um, I mean, anything in a 15 light that, uh, you know, that's thicker. We got to go thicker, right? Um, but I've seen instances where people burn through that too. Um, the only other suggestions that I could make is use those string savers, those stringalings that you can pop through like, like Fed uses or Pete Sampras back in the day. That'll prevent the strings from moving. Um, it'll play a little different, but that's another suggestion. Um, but definitely you gotta get more rackets. Uh, like, like this guy here, hour and a half, the, the kid's gonna have to have a dozen rackets. You know, that's just kind of how it is. When you're going to tournaments or competing against other schools on that road trip, uh, you're gonna be constantly stringing rackets and hoping that somebody out there is gonna be able to string them for you that quickly. So, like I said, my advice would be get more rackets. Uh, a dozen, maybe overkill, but at least six, all right? Um, I also told Neil that maybe we can switch him to an 18 by 20. They don't make that pro staff, unfortunately, in an 18 by 20. Uh, Blade, maybe, or Ultra Tour. Um, both are made in an 18 by 20. 
maybe try those see how fast he breaks that 16 gauge if he's still on rapid fire on those go to the 15 light um, it should buy him I mean hopefully half an hour to an hour possibly two hours more uh, but that is this is a consistent problem um, it's I don't want to say it's a good problem but at least the kid is hitting it consistently which is what you want if you're a parent or a coach I get it uh, if you're a kid doing this I get it too but hey it's part of the game um, it's part of you developing as a player um, it, it's not a bad problem to have I, I understand I mean just it is what it is you're getting better and you know the, the best players in the world do this right as you get better this will be happening faster so to all you parents out there strings are meant to break uh, I get parents in here all the time saying the strings broke after a week and my question to them is yeah that's what it's supposed to do and they, they don't understand that <laughs> so um, so my question to the parents usually is do you play tennis and if they say no I was like, just leave it up to me thank you Neil for your email um, and good luck to your player we got to we're gonna have to get that sponsorship to get them more rackets though and probably like mm, 50 reels of string to go with uh, maybe a string or two. We're going to have to teach him how to string. There you go. Teach him how to string, Neil. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.